Welcome back to another monthly music on repeat. As always, guys, if you guys haven't seen any of my monthly music on repeat, uh, I pretty much just go over projects and singles that came out this month that I didn't have a chance to review um, by itself. And also, I just talk about songs or projects that I've been listening throughout this month. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, as far as singles go, there wasn't that many singles that I did check out. Um, I did like the uh, Kid Cudi Stars in the Sky, which is the uh, a song for the uh, Sonic 2 soundtrack, which I might go see. Uh, I did enjoy this. Uh, I enjoyed it more than his song that he had on the uh, Nico album. That one was bad, but this one was pretty good. This one felt like old Kid Cudi, so... Uh, I definitely like that song. Um, I also like that song from um, Skies in London. Played this at my funeral. Uh, definitely felt like um, old Little Skies in London. Uh, London, I think. Um, yeah, probably the best Little Skies uh, song in years, honestly. And then Child of God by Chance the Rapper. This is another song that I did enjoy um we need more songs like this from chance rapper so if he does come out with the project hopefully it's like this you know uh but i do wish he was more energetic on this song but uh still a dope song definitely a lot better than some of the songs he had on uh, the big day uh but yeah all right now let's get into albums there's five projects that did come out. Actually, six, but I'm only going to talk about five because I'm going to try to do a separate review for the Denzel Curry album, which I am late on it. But hey, guys, I will bring the review probably this week. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm only going to talk about five projects that did come out this month. I was going to do separate videos for some of these projects, but I ended up, you know what, I'm just going to wait till the... Uh, monthly music on repeat and that's what i'm gonna do uh the first project is non-perishable by to be lewd this is definitely one that i was anticipating on um and yeah he did not miss it's uh a fun listen easy listen a nice chill listen if you guys haven't checked that out highly highly recommend it uh if you guys know to be Lou, then you guys know what you would uh, get out of this project i like him because he's very very unique the sound isn't like anybody else's. Uh, and yeah, there's a couple of songs that we'll be coming back to. Uh, and yeah, I mean, the project is just an easy listen. So I'm definitely going to be coming back to this project uh, often. My favorite songs have to be Busy, Two Hours Plus, Yamaguchi, and Hopeless Romantic. Those are probably my top five favorite songs on the project. Uh, now, is it worth it to buy on vinyl, CD, or is it just worth it to just stream the album? I think it's definitely worth it to buy the vinyl just because of how easy the album is. Uh, you could play the LP in one go. Um, so, yeah, definitely buy the album. Also, by the way, the vinyl release was crazy. I was actually the one that uh, told them if he could... Uh, if he could just release the album in like a solid color, because I did not like the picture discs. I was like, hey, Toby Lou, is it okay if we could uh, just get a standard release as well, like a solid color? Because picture discs don't sound good. And he replied to me and uh, he changed the color. So I am the one to thank. <laughs> I feel like if I didn't say anything, I feel like he wouldn't have changed it. Uh, this album is a 7 out of 10. Definitely see this album grow on me more and more and more. Probably down the line, it might even bump up the score to a 7.5 or an 8. It's definitely a great, great project. Uh, next one is Who Cares by Rex Orange County. Uh, this one was a nice chill listen. It is definitely an album that I'm going to be playing during the springtime and probably even the summertime. It's just an album that you could just chill back and just listen to it. Um, it's a project that uh, definitely would sound great on vinyl. And so for that, I feel like it's worthy of getting a vinyl. Uh, it's worthy of buying the vinyl, which I might buy the vinyl probably down the line. Um, 
it's just a dope project. Uh, definitely one of his better projects. I want to say it's better than Pony, uh, just because of this. Just I don't know because I, I felt like Pony was more of like his mainstream project. It's still a good project, uh, but I feel like this one was more better. Like the singing was better, the lyrics were better. Uh, just overall, it was just better. Project is a six point five out of ten. Uh, dope project. Favorite songs have to be "Keep It Amazing," "Open a Window," "Shoot Me Down," and "One in a Million." Those are my uh, favorite songs on this project. My top five favorite songs on this project. The next project is the underground artist, two underground artists, "Laminated Skies" by Raw Poetic and Damu the Fudge Monk. I think. Uh, yeah, this project I enjoyed it i played it a lot this month probably my most played project out of these projects that i'm gonna be talking about uh it's a dope project highly recommend you guys checking out the production and the beat is pretty much what what makes this project good uh obviously the rapping is on point in the mix this project what it is this is a project that i'm definitely gonna play during this time of the year uh, it's definitely one of my favorite projects of the year as well. It has to be in my top five as of right now. It's worth it to buy on vinyl, which I'm probably going to buy the vinyl for this as well. Um, the project gets a 7.5 out of 10. I feel like that's probably a good score. Probably the more and more I listen to it, the more and more I'm going to give it a, a 8, honestly. But uh, for now, 7.5 is a perfect score. Favorite songs have to be Cadillac, Open Roads, and Interwind. I think those are my top three favorite songs on this uh, project. Uh, highly recommend it. Go check it out if you guys haven't. Uh, next one up is uh, Super Ghetto by Buddy. This one is a underrated project that did come out. Uh, I didn't see that many people talk about it. So if you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. It's a fun project by Buddy. Uh, his rapping skills is on point. He has to be one of the better rappers out. Honestly, I feel like nobody talks about Buddy, but Buddy is a great, great rapper. Uh, yeah, like I said, this was just a fun project to listen to. Also, I want to talk about Two Pain, not Two Pain, T Pain, because T Pain has been on three projects this month. I feel like he's coming back. He's been on the Denzel Curry album. He's been on this Buddy album. He's been on Non Perishable. He's coming back. He's low key coming back. Um, yeah. Although this project is good, I feel like. If it does get a vinyl release, I don't think it's really worth it on vinyl just because I feel like this project isn't really meant to be played on vinyl. Uh, so for that reason, this is a project that you should definitely get on CD. So definitely buy it on CD if it does get a CD release. 7 out of 10. Again, I feel like I'm giving a lot of 7s, but that's because it is good. You know, 7 is like, I want to say above average because like average is like a 6, you know. Uh, and then 7 is above average. And then obviously 8, 9, 10 are like almost near perfect scores. Um, but yeah, uh, favorite songs on, on here have to be High School Crush, Happy Hour, Coolest Things, Bad News, and Wait Too Long. Blast also has been on a lot of songs this year. So, uh, hey, love to see it. Uh, yeah, the last project that I'm going to be talking about is I Know Nigo. Um, by Nigo. Uh, yeah, another fun project. I don't think I have too much to say. But um, yeah, it's a fun project. Uh, obviously the production is what makes this good. Uh, I did like the features on this. Tyler the Creator, Pusha T, ASAP Rocky. I feel like ASAP Rocky really shine the most. Um, the only song that I do not like is the Kid Cudi song. I did not like that. Um. Which is crazy because I am a Kid Cudi fan, obviously. But this song, the song was in it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the project. Honestly, it's a project that honestly probably won't sound that good on vinyl. So for that, I'm going to say buy it on CD. Uh, I did buy the vinyl. But that's because I'm kind of a collector at the same time. Although I hate to say that. Uh, but honestly, I don't think it would sound that good on vinyl. It's like an album that really isn't meant to be played on vinyl um, so for that definitely buy it on cd i'm gonna give this a 6.5 out of 10 dope project um definitely i could see this grow on me as well 
we had a lot of great projects that came out this month, including the Denzel Curry album, which I can't wait to talk about. That is all the projects that I did listen to this month. Besides the new releases, I pretty much just listened to my playlist, playlist that I created for each mood, um, which I might make a video on. So if you guys want to check out uh, some of the playlists that I did make, um, then I might make a separate video for. Uh, but I, yeah, I just I was just playing my playlist, honestly. Obviously, I ended up checking out Bacar, Nobody's Home a lot this month. Um, and some other projects as well. I just completely forget. But yeah, mostly just my playlist. And I also been listening to a lot of podcasts. So, um, sound wave. That is all for today, guys. If you guys haven't yet followed me on Instagram, my Instagram is in the description below. Go ahead and follow. Uh, 500 followers, and I do, and I will do a giveaway on there. Uh, but yeah, subscribe if you guys haven't liked the video. It helps out the channel. I'm going to be uh, seeing Baby Keem this Wednesday. So excited. Uh, which I might make a video on that. I haven't yet uploaded my St. John concert tour. My St. John concert video. Which uh still got to work on that. Just don't want to upload it because of the copyright issue, you know. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. Until then, though.